the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Like the video you are about. It is important that we are not only expectant to receive the word, but that the Holy Spirit will prevail over us and change things. We were discussing with pastor yesterday and I told him, you are only a blessing when you can introduce supernatural solutions to people. When you can introduce something to a man's life that did not exist, capable of altering any and every part of his life. Are we together? When you meet a doctor and you begin to communicate an ill health, through his experience he will discern an inadequacy or an insufficiency of certain things vitamins whatever it is and it is within his power through experience to introduce through a drug now when you swallow a drug you don't instruct the drug to go to your leg by design the drug was designed to not rest until it locates the exact part that needs correction now you have no privilege of seeing how it works you only use the evidences around you to confirm whether or not it is working are we together so if there is a boil for instance on your hand and you are told that you need antibiotics when you swallow those drugs you use the disappearance of that boil as a sign that it is working meaning something in your life must change as an evidence that something is happening in the realm of the spirit this is not an issue of visions or dreams this is an issue of introducing a reality to your life that is capable of changing something this is what we have come to do this morning not everyone is sick but i can tell you everyone needs is a radical change of dimension and it is within the power of god sometimes you see we waste meetings like this because we hope things will happen and then we leave and nothing happens i've made up my mind as a man of god under god never to waste the time of god's people And so I want your heart to be very open this morning, not just to be informed and live after service and say, wow, this is wonderful, but to live with a shift, literally, that everything around you will change like day and night. If you believe that, please say amen. amen. I have spent my life studying the systems of the kingdom and I have discovered a few things that I believe a responsible pastor for the limitations that people face in life limitation is a formula there is an exact cause that leads a man to such an experience are we together when you see people suddenly rise out of nowhere when you see people lifted like a wonderful worship team son can we honor them by the way oh it was beautiful beautiful some persons live in certain dimensions that are not affordable to the natural man manifesting possibilities that are not available in our economy as we know there must be a system they have used to access these realities are we together when everyone is falling sick just like that and you should be sick but you are now manifesting a possibility that should not be naturally you are through that manifestation communicating a message to men to principalities and powers that you are standing on a platform based on a dimension of light you have received every time your life listen if it is the lord's doing 
then it will be marvelous in our eyes if it is a man's doing it is not worthy of observation it's not worthy of commendation it is natural you don't clap for someone for walking because it is within the constitution of men to walk but when an individual starts flying it is worthy of your attention so one of the ways that god attracts glory to himself is to introduce realities to natural mortal men and cause them here and now to introduce and manifest possibilities that are not available it is not within the constitution of the natural man to access those realities now those results will not it may cause criticism it may cause whatever but it will have it is impossible for man to ignore unusual things impossible that's why we have in the market square people gather every time people are fighting because human beings were not designed to fight themselves so when you find someone boxing another person and breaking a bottle people say let's come and observe they are not learning anything they just want to observe what is making this man unusual correct when you see a madman and he's talking and injuring himself you look at him and say something is wrong when you see a healthy man you just greet him you don't turn unusually Men, listen, anything usual cannot attract you. The world is too busy for usual things. So if the attention of creation must be drawn towards the sons of light, then we must manifest a dimension that is not available in this economy. Are we together? When Jesus walked upon the earth, that was not the first time they were seeing a man of God. That was not even the first time they were seeing boastful people who made claims that they had fraternities with the realm of the spirit and could do unusual things. They had seen them come and go. But this personality called Jesus was very strange. When he walked upon the earth, his character, his invincibility, something about his convictions compelled them. At first, it was just the people around the streets. You could say they were just poor and weak people. But at a point, the scribes and the Pharisees could not ignore the ministry of Jesus. Then they began to discuss it from a point of cynicism. But the results were so notable and consistent, it became the subject of their discussion. And at a point, they said, look, we have to do something about this man. He's threatening us. We no longer look relevant because something higher, better, and more affordable has come to us that was their threat with jesus they did not care his claims they just used his claims as a yardstick the idea were not his claims they wanted to find a way of annihilating him they hated him and were intimidated by his results to a point that they were willing to release somebody they once chained as a criminal it is better for us to have criminals than to have this man that was how intimidated they were you could imagine Barabbas saying, I, I remember two weeks ago, you said they should jail me. And they said, Barabbas, don't worry. Your issue, we can kill you somewhere. But this guy, we need him to die in our presence to confirm there is no hope. Hmm. It is God's design. Please listen carefully. John 15, Jesus was speaking. And he said, hearing is our father glorified. Hearing. This is how he is glorified. When you bear much fruit, by so doing, it will be an evidence that you are my disciples. This morning, I have come to challenge us and to introduce us to keys that by the grace of God can cause you to live as if the devil does not exist. Now, you have to believe what I'm saying. Take your eyes away from whatever limitation and believe him it is not the word of god in itself that creates changes it is the understanding of it alongside the grace and the empowerment to apply it satan has never been afraid of the word of god he has been afraid of your partnership with it the word of god outside of your partnership is as barren as anything the bible says the word of god can be made unfruitful is that true I want to teach this morning very briefly on what I captioned four levels of encounters. Four levels of encounters. There are four dimensions, you can call them, 
four dimensions really i think dimension is uh is a better word there are four dimensions of encounters pastor that any man who wants to do business with god in this season in the midst of this evil and perverse generation there are four dimensions of encounters that every single one of us seated in this auditorium and those who would be listening must pass through to prepare and equip them to manifest the reality of the kingdom the reality of the spirit life the life of dominion the life that represents possibilities that are only contained in the christ and i want to introduce us i don't know how far we'll stop but um wherever we reach that will be sufficient for this morning we we'll walk with time are we together the first encounter is the encounter with jesus the son of god write it down don't be familiar with what i'm saying at all the first dimension of encounter that anyone at all walking upon the face of the earth must have to introduce you to a life of victory and beauty and glory is an encounter with jesus the son of god jesus was speaking to nicodemus nicodemus came to him by night john chapter 3 and he asked him a question he says rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god he said for no man can do these things except god be with him are we together now and jesus replies nicodemus and says verily verily i say unto you except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom then nicodemus responds and says can a man be born the second time can he enter into his mother's womb and so on and so forth verse 5 says nicodemus now said ex jesus speaking he said except a man be born listen of water and of the spirit then he says he shall not enter the kingdom of god down to verse 8 he began to speak he says the wind bloweth where it listeth you cannot tell where it's coming or where it's going such is the character of one led by the spirit then he went to verse 16 popular scripture that has not been understood for a very long time he says for god loved the world so love the world as a matter of fact then he says he proved that love by giving his only of course we know now that is jesus is not his only begotten he's the first begotten but then he was the only begotten son now listen he gave jesus and then he said whosoever believes in him there is a reward for taking the risk to believe in the person and the message and that reward is this the bible calls it everlasting life other versions call it eternal life we began to make that correction yesterday in abel kuta and i said none of those definitions actually fit that description now when you study greek and hebrew you will realize that the words those languages are somewhat like yoruba where you can have one word with extended meanings and when you want to communicate it you will find the best description that suits that context if it has a number of synonyms you find the best one that communicates the thoughts to the listener are we together now so this life has many characteristics and the translators looked for the best quality to describe it and they felt a life without end would be the best description so they called it eternal life but it is not eternal life everybody has eternal life are we together mm, yes the condition for eternal life is not receiving Jesus. The condition for eternal life is passing through the womb of a woman. Hmm. <laughs> the moment you pass through the womb of a woman as a gate, interfacing the realm of the spirit to the physical realm, you qualify for eternal life. Sinners have eternal life. Eternal life just means life without end. Nobody's life ends. There is only a change of dimension. Are we together now jesus himself taught us in the parable about a rich man and a poor person called lazarus they lived their lives on earth and then sin one passed 
then the bible reveals two of them again alive in another dimension of living so the concept of death is simply a translation from this realm where you have to share this authorization called your body the body is simply a system of authorization that allows your spirit to function on earth within a time limit are we together now yes so that you have separated from that body does not mean you have stopped living the rich man was still living when you preach to people you don't ask them will you spend eternity the question is location not possibility so what then is everlasting life john himself in his epistle john first john chapter 5 11 and 12 first john chapter 5 11 and 12 this is what he said um when you read especially verse 12 okay it says and this is the record that god hath what help me please this is the testament it is a testimony it's a record that's a legal terminology it says that god hath given us now he uses that word again you see translated eternal life he says and this life is in his son he that hath the son hath life and he that hath not the son of god hath not life are we together now listen very carefully he was talking and teaching in a culture where people practice occultism the greeks when you study classical greek mythology you will understand that they had all kinds of gods hermes zeus these were gods that were purported to be a product of angels just like the nephilims are we together now there was an interaction between spirits and the daughters of men to produce this species of beings so they had superhuman qualities qualities that were half of human beings they had unusual intelligence unusual body constructions etc they had unusual physical longevities and all of that so he was trying to introduce a life in contrast to other kinds of lives and living the natural human life that we know was not the only kind of life and living that was existent at that time people at those times could fraternize with gods of their various localities and they could extend and improve the quality of their lives higher than the human life but not god's life are we together now through divination people could exchange their children to prolong their own lives and improve the quality of their lives and like i said yesterday just prosperity wealth and abundance alone can improve your life to be higher than that which is affordable to the human the natural human being is that true but that is not eternal life the word there is a popular word that we know is called zoe zoe many people got that definition from kenneth e hagin and like i shared yesterday in abel kuta that kenneth hagin had blessed the church blessed me blessed everyone that we know but revelation is progressive if kenneth e hagin were alive i'm sure he would have written many other books as an improvement to his revelation end of it your phone rings with a christian song you off it quickly because you are you are not sure the embarrassment it may cost you we have allowed society to indoctrinate us and make us believe that jesus is a disadvantage an encounter with the son of god there are many business people who don't know him they want to use him if you talk to them if you tell him let me give you a business idea they say wow please have been waiting for it at this point of recession and he said look my idea first and foremost is jesus said, are, you, are, you, are you stupid you think i, I mean i think i didn't go to school you see how they make it look pastor the reason why we do not seek him is because we do not believe he's an advantage we were designed not to waste our time so we commit our time to the things that we consider to represent value to us Saul of Tarsus met him once and his ministry and life changed the woman with the issue of blood met him once and her situation changed blind Bartimaeus met him on the road to Jericho once and their lives changed have you not seen that Jesus changes people 
Jesus lifts people an encounter with him introduces the supernatural to your life there are many more encounters but this Jesus said sir I am the door any other way you want to route it you are a thief I am if I enter your house praying in tongues through the window am I your friend please answer me if I enter with hamper for you and I use the window am I still your friend the door there are many riches in that house there are many dimensions that like you enter a house and there are many rooms which other encounters will open us but the master door like you have the main door the main door listen is not principles the main door is not impartation the main door is the son of the living god jesus said i am the way i lead you to the truth you have to follow the way first forget truth until you find the way when you find that truth then you will walk in the experience of life they understood what he was saying no matter what food you have in your kitchen for me if i cannot come through the door i will miss out on that brothers and sisters this is a challenge for us this morning here at house of david it is important that for ourselves and for those around us we must stimulate encounters in them with the son of god unfortunately most of what we call evangelism does not achieve this so much it's just a, a religious system of trying to convince ourselves that we are contributing and doing the great commission we must allow our lives to be instruments of encounters with the son of god say amen the second encounter very quickly the second dimension of encounter that we must have is the encounter with the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit encounter with the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit you ever are interested in living a victorious life please listen carefully encounter with the person and the ministry of the holy spirit in john chapter 14 16 to 18 john chapter 14 16 to 18 jesus himself began to introduce us to the holy spirit john 14 16 to 18 um let's just take it one by one will that be fine so that we can see it john 14 and i will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter and he says that he may abide with you forever next verse he says even what the spirit of truth and the bible tells us two reasons why the world cannot receive him help me please reason number one what's the first reason because they see at him not the carnal nature of men is such that until we see things with our optical eyes we cannot relate to them it is facebook and the internet that has helped us to know that it is possible to relate with people without direct contact with them so you can have a friend you have never seen and you can even feel the impulses and the emotions of that person and say why are you sad yet you have never seen the person who taught us that it is possible it is impossible to relate with a being or a personality that is not human like us it's an indoctrination that came as a result of the carnal nature of men the bible says the first reason the world will not receive him is that they do not see him then neither do they know him you see that the bible says but ye know him now this is a mystery why it says for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you now the holy spirit is many things to the believer the holy spirit represents the continuity of the ministry of jesus to the believer the holy spirit is the manifestation of the presence of the father the presence of the son the only way jesus can be revealed to a man is through the ministry of the holy spirit the holy spirit is not a pentecostal phenomenon a choice for pastors 
you see that so when you want to be a pastor they say there's a book i want to give you holy spirit read it and i think it will help you in ministry there are so many people who just acknowledge that there is such a being somewhere that they say help people call the holy spirit the holy spirit has changed my life the bible says in zechariah 4 and verse 6 it says the word of the lord to zechariah he says not by might listen carefully anything at all not by might not by power but by my spirit not say it the prophet say it the lord god is giving you the prescription to a great life in other words ignore the holy spirit and it's the same thing as signing up with a life of failure and defeat how many people ignore him I wish I had time this morning I would have given you an analogy that I gave yesterday because the only way I have found to teach people on the Holy Spirit is marriage are we together the person of the Holy Spirit and the ministry of the Holy Spirit working with you the invisible dimension of that fraternity producing extraordinary results through your life wisdom grace the holy spirit is the custodian of the anointing many people want the anointing pastor and they ignore him no the holy spirit the ultimate custodian the distributor of the anointing we need an encounter with him in revelation chapter 22 and verse 16 to 17 Hear what the Bible says. It says the spirit and the bride say come. It takes you and the Holy Spirit to make the word manifest. The spirit, not the spirit alone, not the bride alone. It says the spirit and the bride say breakthrough, come. The spirit and the bride say healing, come. The spirit and the bride say miracles, come. The spirit and the bride say new levels, come. You've been saying it alone, but the formula is the spirit and the bride. Because the spirit can search the mind of the father and tell you what is his desire for you. The spirit and the bride. Many people claim to study the Bible without him. I call it hypocrisy. He's the author of scripture. The Holy Spirit is the author of this thing you hold around. And so it does not make sense. The Bible is too complicated to understand without him. There is a mix of culture, attitudes, error in translations. You will not be able to truly understand except he brings the light. Holy Spirit. That's why many people read and all they find is things that are wrong. And they get up and say, no, 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 no. You see, the Bible is a prophetic book. Even without the Holy Spirit, you can study it. And another spirit can give you interpretations. The Bible is just most commonly used by Christians. But it's not a book for Christians. People use it. They use it in shrines. They use it everywhere. It's a book. They add it to all the formulas. People, you can use the Bible to do magic. Many things happen in the Bible. Demons spoke, correct? Some of you are surprised at what I'm saying. Donkeys spoke. Animals spoke. Jesus spoke. Not every part of the Bible is profiting for you. It is the part that contains the spirit and the life of God. And only the Holy Spirit can search that out. So it's not the issue. If, if I see it in the Bible, I'll do it. What happened there? Men spoke in their depravity. Without the Holy Spirit, our study of scripture is hypocrisy. We are going to come up with disjointed revelations that are not consistent with the character of the Christ. It is the Holy Spirit that gives balance to your study and introduces to you truths that are only needed. There is what we call forbidden knowledge. Forbidden knowledge is trying to access revelations and dimensions that are not in the scope of your spiritual growth process as far as this dispensation of work with God is concerned. That was the mystery that was hidden in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You see that? There is a curriculum of God for every dispensation for men to know him. 
and it is yieldedness to walk within the jurisdiction of that curriculum apportioned many people erroneously have entered into all kinds of divinations because of their quest for rema they've gone online to browse every kind of thing and you will see scriptural references and in a bid to do those things have exposed them themselves to activities of demons sincerely there is a jurisdiction and it is only the holy spirit no man of god by himself can define the boundaries of knowing god the spirit of god there were certain things john saw he said seal it it is not for now close it leave it correct the ministry of the holy spirit if there is anything in my life today that is worthy of commendation brothers and sisters i submit to you before god it is a product of the holy spirit what you enjoy in this church under the leadership of god's servant is a product of the ministry of the holy spirit the man of god and his dear wife have yielded to the holy spirit to have birthed this the holy spirit is a creator the first manifestation of him was as a creator Are we together? Number three. I'll take the fourth one in the evening service. The third encounter that we need is an encounter with the mysteries and the secrets of the kingdom. Please write it down. The third encounter you must have, non-negotiable encounter, is an encounter with the mysteries notice i didn't just say encounter with the word of god i would have said that but for the purpose of my explanation the mysteries and the secrets of the kingdom matthew 13 verse 11 please matthew 13 verse 11 it says he answered and said unto them because it is given to you to know what help me please the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom he says but unto them it is not given pastor hear what the bible says he said the secret things belong to the lord right the secret things belong to them that fear him and he will reveal to them his covenant the secret things not the public things there are the, the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him there are secrets so let me tell you nothing of value is left just with, within plain sight is that true you don't fetch gold on the ground like that no everything that is of value is enshrined in mysteries that's why the bank is heavily protected with all kinds of codes because of what is there that's why where you keep your money is only you and your wife that knows nobody's in confusion as to where to carry umbrella for rain you hang it there and everybody sees it but anything that represents value you create a system around it to make sure that those who access it have complied with certain principles brothers and sisters this is the difference between any two believers their access to the mysteries and the secrets of the kingdom it is not favoritism it is simply that every man is defined by the limit of his understanding our possibilities are created they are a summation of our the spiritual construction the things we know about god the things we know about his system this is what is called the manifestation of the kingdom of heaven the bible talks about the kingdom of God the Bible talks about the kingdom of heaven interchangeably they are used but theologically the kingdom of God simply represents everywhere everywhere is his kingdom the kingdom of God represents everywhere the sphere of his influence can reach whether it is there or not and that includes everywhere created by him heaven under the earth the earth 
are all jurisdictions of his dominion but the kingdom of heaven is that portion of the kingdom of God where his value systems have been permitted to find expression and the experience of his life is finding expression within that territory that's what is called the kingdom of heaven and the way that is reproduced is by the manifestation of the principles the mysteries and the secrets of the kingdom like you see someone sick you see that now that person is a child of God the Bible says he should not be sick but that person is sick but something by accessing a mystery he can introduce something and lift that person that's the experience of the kingdom the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 very interesting scripture that although we are possessors of the life of God it does not automatically mean that we begin to manifest it please read it if you're a child of God is projected one to read uh-huh stop being what alienated although potentially speaking custodians of that life alongside all the possibilities contained in it but the bible says we can be alienated when our understanding is darkened you can live as though these things are not true that ignorance can alienate a man are we together now psalms 82 and verse 5 says they know not neither will they understand knowledge is not enough understanding it says they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course the next verse says have i not said regardless of your experience have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high then the next verse says but 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 because of verse 5 you shall die like mere men meaning you were not designed to be a mere man and fall like one of these princes Galatians 4 says an heir as long as he is a child he said he differeth not that means there is no difference in his experience an heir as long as he's a child devoid of understanding differeth not from a slave although he be lord of all do you know brothers and sisters that our limitations today are a product of incorrect or no understanding of the systems of the kingdom someone can understand the way it works if i know for instance that on this stage there is i'm not supposed to match this place because of that understanding i can even come running and just navigate now you may not know and you can walk on and run into all kinds of things what do you understand about kingdom wealth and finances who taught you what was the reference for the teaching who taught you about divine health you see that because pastor when people come to church and they hear a man of god teaching most times members don't listen they want to but they don't they just hope to see whether you can add one or two things to their understanding it's not a good attitude when you come to church listening to your pastor you must trust his leadership and you must trust the results in his life and listen to the formula he gives you and don't invent another one it must be executed as prescribed if the doctor says one in the morning one in the evening one in in, in the night if you take five like a man of god was sharing while we we're in in abelkuta you are going to alter the entire pharmacology of that drug are we together now it must be as prescribed so there are many people who miss out on the will of god please listen to me there are many cheap battles cheap battles that people should there are many retrogressions that are unnecessary especially under certain atmospheres but they know not neither will they understand 
there are many Christians today languishing in failure, languishing in poverty, finding different theological excuses to justify the way their lives are and thinking that everything will come just because life is not fair. It has never been fair to anyone. You make it fair by manifesting the principles of the kingdom. Nothing happening to anyone is new under the sun. Do you know that when men lose things, there is a provision in the kingdom to have it back? Now, if you don't know and you do not know how to make it back, you will be in trouble. Brothers and sisters, do you know that when you get into trouble that you know is your fault, you are at the point of death, there is something that can be introduced into the equation that will turn everything aside. It's called the mercy of God. Are you aware of it? You see people walk on and when they get into trouble, when there's wrongdoing in their lives, they are whipped of the consequences. Where did you keep the mercy? It's not there by default. It is invoked. This is what makes the believer invincible. It is not perfection. It is that the system is so fortified that regardless of what dimension there is a bailout. Aye. So I've not been a faithful tither and truly I hear a message by pastor and then I'm convicted but meanwhile the devourer has been getting to me I don't just sit I say oh okay I see Lord I'm sorry I come to you with genuine repentance and I'm ready to begin to tithe however devourer there is an equation I know that I I am a violator but I introduce the mercy of God Mercy is not for sinners. It's a bailout system in the kingdom. You need the mercy of God if you must survive. They're about to sack everybody because something happened and you just gave room to the flesh and you were part of it. You need mercy. You can invoke it and I tell you, you'll be cleaned out of that thing as if the devil does not exist. This is the thing about the faith life that makes it so scary. Do you know speed? Speed speed and ease of accomplishment is a provision that is within the jurisdiction of the believer if you know how to activate it there are many people it's not like you are not moving forward but it's too slow for your lifetime it's too slow it's too slow and god wants to move you god wants to move you elijah the hand of god came upon him he ran overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jezreel. When I look at your life, it is a summation of all the mysteries you have understood and are activating. You see that? So two people, please come sir. I can stand with this gentleman. Two of us are believers. We love God with all our hearts, but our possibilities are so far apart. In the same earth. Are we together now? In the same earth his neighbor leaves him and comes to bless me as if he doesn't know how can his neighbor leave him and the neighbor is aware of his predicament but he did not know what to activate to create the effect he desired and he will leave him and come to me can you pray in tongues just for one minute this this thing is really boiling in my heart Pray in the spirit. There is something I do not know. And I admit it. It's not this hard. There is something I have not seen. for this cause I Paul bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you there is something he has to grant unto you understanding understanding illumination by the spirit You don't have to remain in that situation.
Savior, He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. The author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, Savior, He can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Listen, listen to me. Brothers and sisters, it's not that we don't know what we want. The mysteries that are responsible for the result is what we do not understand. Man of God, I am tired of the way my life is you are living in lagos the place of plenty the place of favor the place of opportunity but you watch it happen every day your portion is in christ but it takes mysteries it takes an operation of the spirit to deliver to you your own it's an aberration for someone to rise up come into your community command results and work out no 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 it looks like god does not love you alienated from the life of god alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in their hearts listen it is not about doing things it is about the understanding that sponsors what you do listen carefully i say it again it's not about doing business it's the construction of the spiritual understanding that sponsors what you are doing it's not about hustling it's not about dropping cvs what what understanding gives you audacity what understanding sponsors it it's not about doing ministry just because you think you can preach what is the construction of your spiritual understanding it's not about producing programs no sir it's not what we do it is the understanding that activates heaven upon what we do you don't say to one just be healed just because you feel like the Bible says they shall lay hands on the sick. You will do it and be disappointed. There is more to it. I'm speaking to people here that in this season, God wants to lift. I know it by the Spirit. Let's not make God a liar. House of David, hear me. Your pastor by the Spirit and the leadership of this church have put, I made up my mind, pastor, that I will never pastor a weak people. I would pastor a people of influence a people of influence not just people who love God let me show you one scripture and we'll round up this morning second Peter chapter 1 please keep standing if you can we're rounding up second Peter chapter 1 and verse 3 3 and 4 I want us to read something one to read everyone please according as his divine power help me had given us how many things that pertain unto stop everybody say life say godliness one more time say life say godliness god is so benevolent that he covered every aspect of your life his divine power by access to these mysteries can support your life and godliness pastor there are issues that pertain unto life your housing your car these are not issues of godliness they are issues of life the issue of your school your children's school fees being paid this bullying that comes around because of rent they are issues that pertain unto life your godliness will be interrupted if the issues of life are not put in place god is that is that knowledgeable he says the issues that pertain unto life so you go to pray pastor but you cannot pray because tomorrow by nine o'clock they are going to throw you out and you are standing are you a christian yes do you love jesus yes are you experiencing his life no 
why alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in their mind and then after a prolonged season of repeated failure you build a theology around your experience that it is not within the power of God to sponsor this possibility so even when a man of God is saying God will do this and I, 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 amen but they don't believe it everybody say things that pertain to life house of David hear me by the grace of God Almighty all your gadgets and everything here are things that pertain unto life they have made the sound comfortable if rain falls it doesn't have to hit you there is a mystery that was accessed to make this happen with or without this sound we will still praise God but it will interrupt your hearing there are things that pertain unto life let me tell you something satan designs this thing to distract our passion they were never supposed to be lifelong pursuits it's a cause when it becomes a lifelong pursuit it should be resolved so that you focus on the kingdom there are better more superior things i should not be thinking about clothes what to eat how will this happen how will my wife do how will my child and you are in church and the word is about to come and satan distracts you It's not about the issue of being rich. It's about the issue of being free. To serve the Lord. To serve his purposes without reservation. There are many of you who are kind. But you do not understand. Let me tell you. Sincerity is not the seed for results. You must have mysteries. Access to mysteries. Oh God I'm sincere. No. No. Many people died sincere. The things that pertain to life. Then the things that pertain to godliness. The ability to keep the enemy at bay. He has supplied all the tools. The mystery of the blood. The power of the name. The power of the word of God. The shield of faith. All these supplies have been put to make sure godliness is not a challenge for you. He already told you what to do if you are afflicted. If any man afflicted, James 5.13, he says, let him pray. I have created a system of calling the intervention of heaven. Even when you are overwhelmed, he says to call upon the elders. There is already a provision to help you. The things that pertain unto life and godliness. The Bible says, but they are given through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory and virtue. Through the knowledge. And that knowledge is not just awareness, understanding. This morning we are going to cry for understanding. Listen. If you hear and understand what I'm saying, some of you, one week is too much to see results that will bring tears. It's not some charm. No, listen, listen. We are going to do all the prophecies and all the killing and all of this, but what I am giving you is a big miracle. It's a tool that you will hold and move as if Satan does not exist. The issue is not what I want. Good master, he says, what shall I do to be saved? He knew that there must be a commitment on your own part. The end of understanding is when your part of the deal is revealed to you. Every time you do not know your part of the deal, you do not understand that system. It is not what God wants to do. Please, brothers and sisters, hear me. Time will never change your situation. Time does not change. Time only reveals. The day you access the mysteries properly, Cain and Abel did supposedly the same thing, but they discovered that their results were different. There are people who came this morning, they are saying, man of God, I'm just standing and smiling with a nice cloth, but my life is in shambles and I love the Lord. Now I show you what is wrong. Access to the mysteries stop hurrying on monday morning to just start running on the street why don't you camp and say what is the key to this thing so that you stand up from a standpoint of understanding are you not tired of visiting the man's office and he's throwing you away because destiny helpers don't come on their own you don't choose your destiny helper they are called divinely you have been choosing an uncle and you will not let him rest and you are already getting angry now why won't he help me because he's not your destiny helper go back to god and find out what is the key he said gentiles shall come where are they where are they he didn't say you will meet them they shall come to your light and their kings to the brightness of your rising i'm sure Showing you how to engage the world and produce extraordinary results. Everything leaves you. No favor, no breakthrough, no blessings. It's not normal. We are going to pray just two prayer points and I'll be done this morning. 
it should not be please hear me no matter what excuse you have about it house of david i came to challenge you it's not so it should not be let me round up with an example i gave brother can you stand here just drop this and stand here this guy has been assigned to help me and bless me but because there is nothing upon me both in terms of knowledge and access are we together watch this come and pass me sir this guy comes this is my helper but he passes me nothing is calling him and i continue moving around yet i'm a prayer warrior yet i do bible study but then i come for this miracle service at house of david and something is put upon my life this is the language come this is the language this thing stops him and makes sure he must turn to me you call it favor affect my life breathe on me i look to you for life affect my life breathe on me i look to you for life affect my life breathe on me i look to you for life affect my life breathe on me one more time everybody affect my life breathe on me i look We are going to cry for understanding this morning. Understanding is a spirit. It is a dimension of the operation of the Holy Ghost in a man's life. The Bible says, open she their understanding. Open she their understanding. I want you to lift your voice in one minute and cry to God. And say, Lord, I'm tired. There is something I have not understood that is responsible for these outcomes. Lift your voice and pray. Come on, house of David. You are praying your way to a new dimension give me understanding and i will leave pray pray Rakato shabra diskalia, lembre kato shobre ya la 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 bosh, shabre teke te ba la la ba, rato so so preke te kala ba 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 ba. Kabarato shata prakata la bos, lembre teke shata preke te ba la la ba la la ba la la ba, shabre to so to preke te ba la la ba la la bosh. Pray, pray understanding of the secrets and the mysteries required to leave my current level understanding of the mysteries and the secrets required to activate favor to activate the blessing to activate prosperity to activate health to activate peace hallelujah hallelujah i want us to pray this morning you are going to mention the specific area where a radical transformation must happen and say open my eyes to the mystery that governs this result don't just pray vaguely Lord, this area of finances today, something light must break up. This is my repeated health issue. Lord, this issue of disfavor. Are we praying, people of God? Lift your voice and pray. Open my eyes. Give me understanding as to why all my proposals have been thrown out. Give me a reason why my church is not growing. Open my eyes. Kabala sada prakata la bo shada pres, ete kete bara da kata, la pras kada pres shabu suparia, la prede ke shabra gada bala da bala da bo shabra kesi, embre toko shabra jas, 
Let's add a few more prayer points. We have about seven minutes. You are going to pray and say, Lord, my participation in the equation of my success, the areas I've been neglecting through ignorance, I never knew I should do something. Reveal it to me alongside the grace to do it. Lift your voice and pray. Some of you is non-tithing, authorizing the devourer. Some of you, your mouths are closed, not creating realities by the power of the spoken word. Many of you, your minds are dull and barren of renewal. Open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. It is a dangerous thing to be waiting on God while He is waiting on you. Because you will not know the difference between that and delay that is caused by demonic forces. You will continue hoping and hope forever. Every dimension of the mysteries of the kingdom will always end with an instruction. Something you must do. There are people whose financial levels would have changed. You read a scripture and the Lord gave you an instruction. Sow a seed into the life of the man of God and his wife. And you just ignored it. What is so special about sowing 2000 and my breakthrough? It was never about the money. It was about engaging. I'm not talking of money. I'm not raising any money. No, not at all. I'm just giving you an example. You had 5,000 left and God gave you an instruction. You even wanted to give all the 5,000. God said, mm -mm, 2,000. Go and give the man of God. He said, but he's richer than this. That's not the issue. You are not helping him. It's a system. This is the confusion that has destroyed people. For some of you, you were seated and God wanted to lift you and he said, go and wash the car of this person. And he said, God, let me sow. He said, mm -mm, go and wash the car. There is a mystery. I want to give you a car, but go and wash the car. There are other people, lock yourself and dance before God for one hour. That's the mystery that activates that dimension of breakthrough. But you are too big. I dance for what now? I'm tired. I just came back from work. You sow the seed, but that's not the key to it. God said, lock yourself. Dance like a madman. Dance before your request. Put it and dance. You were praying. God said, stop praying. Dance. Hallelujah. There are many of us, God has said, pray in tongues for one hour non-stop engage warfare because there are forces seated engage warfare you need to understand the keys and what results they bring your pastor the, the little time I've known your pastor I tell you your pastor is a bank of mysteries when I was speaking with him yesterday and we were talking I said Whoa, this man of God I told him I said I said I said sir you see your pastor you just see the results but if you know the dynamics the inner workings that this man of God and his wife the things they engage you see the thing with mysteries is nobody sees you when you are engaging them they just see the results and so people think what are they doing are we not all mates are you doing the same thing hallelujah praise the Lord Please don't miss this night. I will share with you one more revelation and will allow heaven to fall in this place. Some things must change. Please, don't take meetings like this casually. 
by the grace of God and with all humility, your leaders are blessed people. When God puts me things like this, he has his people at heart. You waste your time running from pillar to post, whereas just stay, Martha, you are upset and worried about many things. One thing is needful. Leave that, God knows you need a job. You have been doing this thing for one year, it didn't work. Come and settle down and get an unction that will line jobs like, like thermometers before you. Listen, there is a way it is done. It's not by hustling. Please, brothers and sisters, hear me. It is not by hustling. Hustling is a foolish, carnal man's way of trying to rise. You can't give God glory by hustling. Anything. Uh -uh. The Bible says, work circumspectly. Work circumspectly. You're a man of God. You are just trying to do anything to grow your small church. You are running pillar to post. Please invite me. I'm anointed. I'm not a bad man. I won't raise money. Don't sit down. There is an unction. The moment Gentiles are not coming, don't look for them. Get light. It's a mistake that will lead to frustration. You were never designed to look for Gentiles. Just get light and they will come. Lift your hands and let's bless him. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I pray for every one of you, grace, that between now and the evening service, there will be contemplations of the Spirit in your heart. Some of you on your way going home, light will come to you. Many of you will be giving strange instructions from God. I release grace for you to obey. Many of you will go back home and correct certain wrong things you have been doing. I pray in the name of Jesus, like an inferno of fire, let your results appear. In the name of Jesus Christ, wave your hands and give Jesus a prayer. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a legata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.